Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video 14 from chapter 6. The topic of the chapter is systems of two linear differential equations. In this video, we discuss the case where the A matrix has one or two zero eigenvalues. So as usual, we discuss the case for the system of first order equation that can be written in a vector matrix form as follows x prime um, equals a times x where a is the matrix okay so we see that um, if a shall have one eigenvalue or at least one eigenvalue then we know the determinant of a is zero and that means the A matrix is singular and it's not invertible. And if that is the case, this is very different from all the cases we have discussed so far. Remember, all the cases we have discussed, we say that the origin x equal zero vector, the origin is the only unique critical point for the um, system. But then here, that will no longer be the case. This will still be a critical point, but there will be more than that. Okay, so um, let's start the discussion with an example where we can find one zero eigenvalue. The example is the following. Consider this system that we have been studying, and here the A matrix is this, one, one, two, two. So take a quick look at it and you see that the determinant is 2 minus 2 is 0. So also you can see that the two column vectors are the same. Okay, let's carry out the calculation of the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of A. And you will quickly find that uh, lambda 1 is 0 and lambda 2 is 3. And then you carry out the procedure of computing the corresponding eigenvectors, and then you find v1 is 1, negative 1, and v2 is 1, 2. So we have two eigenvalues distinct and two eigenvectors linearly independent, and one of the eigenvalue is 0. So how does that affect the solution? Well, we can form the general solution. Um, then we'll have the first one will be c1 times e to the lambda 1 t, which is e to the 0, which is 1. So we don't have anything here because it's just 1. So we simply have c1 times v1. And then the second part of the solution is the same as before, e to the lambda 2 t v2. So the interesting thing here is that the first part of the solution is now a constant vector it does not change in t okay so um, this means that um, in any um, solution which equals c1 times v1 for any values of c1 if that is a initial um, condition then the solution remains there because it won't change and therefore um, any point um, satisfy this expression is in equilibrium. So since c here is a scalar multiple, then c times v1 represent a straight line through the origin in the direction of the eigenvector v1, both um, forward and, and backward, meaning in both directions, because negative v1 is also an eigenvector. Okay, so here in this graph, um, x1, x2 plane, and we plotted the direction of v1, which is going down with the slope negative 1. And then there is this line through the origin, and then is in blue and has the property that any point on this line is in equilibrium. So if a solution initially stay, starts from there and it stays there and it will not move. Therefore, we'll just draw a blue line like that and we'll not add any arrows on it because the solution will not move along this line. 
Okay, so you see this behaves very differently from the case where you have no zero eigenvalues. Now the second part of the solution, x bar equal to c2 times e to the 3t times v2, um, as time varies, we have a scalar number times a vector v2. So this solution will be um, along a straight line going through the origin in the direction of v2. So here we um, draw a red line in the direction of v2. And then we see that this solution will be some amplitude changing, but in that direction. So which direction um, does the solution move? Well, we look at the sign of the exponential function. 3 is bigger than 0, therefore the amplitude is growing. And therefore the x vector becomes larger in um, amplitude, so all the arrows will be pointing away from the origin. And now for the general case where we have c1 is not 0 and c2 is not 0 then we see from the expression of the solution, you just have a z1, which um, consists of a constant vector, plus the z2, which is represented by this red line. So if you add a constant vector in the direction of v1 onto this line, what you get is another line um, in the same direction, but shifted up along this v1 direction. So the equilibrium is now moved from the origin to the vector amount you add, and then the solution is still on this line with the same slope as the red one, and you have still all the arrows pointing away from the equilibrium. Okay? So we can move um, up like this, we can all the lines there, and as well as moving downward like this. So this illustration here, we added two lines going uh, in the up and two lines in the down. And in fact, any line that is parallel to the red one is the solution trajectory with the arrows pointing away from the blue line, which is the equilibrium state. OK, so again, I remark on the um, the face portrait looks very different from all the other cases we have discussed where the origin is the only equilibrium point. Now, um, as a curiosity, let's consider the case where we have two zero eigenvalues, but with only one eigenvector. Okay, So let's consider the case where um, the A matrix is like this, 0, 0, 1, 0. So how does it behave? OK, so here we can calculate the eigenvalues of A and the eigenvectors. And we'll find that there are two eigenvalues are both 0, lambda 1 equal lambda 2 equals 0. And we are able to find one eigenvector, which is 0, 1. And then in order to write out the general solution, we can find the generalized eigenvector, which we call eta, by this equation, and which write out to be this one. And then, um, so the first one, 0, 0, times that equals 0 gives no condition. But the second one, this times that equals 1, give us that eta 1 shall be 1. Eta 2 can be anything. So we can just pick a convenient form that is 1, 0. OK, now we can form the general solution with just the formula for the improper node. So x equals c1 times v times e to the lambda t, which is lambda 0. So that's just 1. So we've got a constant vector plus c2 times t times v bar times eta. And there is also the exponential function, which is 1 here, because the exponent is 0. OK, and then knowing that um, here v is 0, 1, and eta is 1, 0, 
we can use that knowledge and put that into these two vectors and we can write out the components. So here we'll have x1 is just c and then x2 uh, is c2, I'm sorry, x2 is just c1 plus c2 times t. Okay, so how does the face portrait look like? Okay, so um, I, here I repeated the solution in red and let's have a discussion. So um, first, if c2 equals zero, then I don't have this term, I just have that. And then x is just c1 times v bar, which is just a constant um, vector. And since the v is uh, a, just uh, a, a vertical vector, then we'll have um, the x2 axis. Okay, so all the dots along the x2 axis and no arrows because it's not moving the, the x2 axis, the whole axis are, is uh, in equilibrium, any solution on it. And then in the general case, um, what will we have would be um, x1 is not moving, it's fixed constant, and then x2 will be moving. As t varies, it can increase or decrease depending on the sign of c2, and it changes with a fixed rate by the amount of c2. So therefore, we'll just have vertical lines where x1 is fixed and x2 vary. So if um, c2 is bigger than 0, and then x2 will be increasing in time, and then we'll have upward arrows. And so what is c2 bigger than 0? Well, c2 bigger than 0 means basically x1 is bigger than 0. So you will be on the right half of the x1, x2 plane. And then if x2 shall be less than 0, then this is a negative number, and then x2 gets smaller as time grows, and then we'll have downward arrows. And the case x2 is less than 0 corresponds to the case x1 is less than 0. And therefore, we'll be at the, um, in the left side of the half plane in the x1, x2 plane. Okay, so it might be easier to um, put it in the graph to see what I mean. So here will be the face portrait for this solution, which I write out in components. And uh, the x2 axis here, every point on it is an equilibrium. So uh, no arrows, so just put it in green. Everything, if you start here, you remain. And then if you are in the right half of the plane where x1 is bigger than 0, then you have parallel lines with all the arrow pointing upwards because solution will be moving up, moving up, moving up here. And uh, how fast does the solution move up as time goes? Well, from the equation we see that it's controlled by the amount of C2, which is the value of x1. So um, that means if you are just a little bit away from the um, x2 axis, then the solution will go up at a lower speed. As you move further away, then the solution here goes up faster in time. Okay? And then a similar thing happens for the case when x is less than 0. And then c2 is negative. And then here all the arrows will be pointing down. And then if you have a particle, you want to see how it moves in time, then here they'll move slower and then here they'll move faster because c2 that is x1 the value of it will be the actual speed of the movement okay so such a motion um in in physics and is called a a shear flow okay so and this is an example taken where this shear flow is lined up in with the axis. So there are other um, matrices A um, that will end up with two eigenvalues 
but with only one eigenvector. And these are um, more or less um, rotations of the A, A, A matrix we have discussed here, where the um, face portrait would still be very similar to this, but it would be rotated. OK, let's look at the final case, which actually isn't much to talk about. Now we have two zero eigenvalues with two linearly independent eigenvectors. And then in this case, the only um, possible um, matrix is the zero matrix. Okay? And that means uh, if you write out your equation, you have x1 prime is 0, x2 prime is 0, and then nothing moves. That is, every point in the x1, x2 plane is an equilibrium. Then it's a trivial case. OK, so that's all I have to say for zero eigenvalue cases. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.